What is the second thing I get asked the most at the property tax time? Oh, I got a property tax statement, but then there was a homeowners association statement too. Now, homeowners association is designated to your neighborhood only. It is not a district. It is just to your neighborhood. What it means is they set up deed restrictions and deed restrictions, they have CCR, which has all the rules guidelines that when anybody wants to paint the house which is exterior anything they want to do exterior there are rules written by HOA committee and they are telling you everything to keep like only two trees or maybe only have neutral shades and they will have shades of beige and browns or whatever also your roof tiles has to be the shingles if everybody has shingles or if somebody has a tiles you know roof then everybody has to has a tile roof what does it do it helps your neighborhood look rich it looks uniform and it preserves the value of your neighborhood because nobody can just grow the grass and not mow they will get a letter or they will get a small slab from HOA. So HOA is for annual assessment. What they do is all the common expenses to mow the lawn in your neighborhood, to keep the landscape really good, to make the entrance sign visible, um, any expenses or there are amenities in it, you know, like a swimming pool or a walking trail or a soccer field tennis field recreation center where they have all kinds of activities during the daytime all of these amenities are handled by hoa and all their common expenses again are distributed to your neighborhood and to all the residents so this is very simple you have mud taxes, you have levy improvement taxes, levy improvement district taxes, which are known as LED. You could have paid for public improvement district and you can have HOA. You can have all of them or none of them. You can live in Texas without a neighborhood who has no deed restriction. So they have no fees. Anybody can do anything. And I know a lot of clients who wants to buy a house in non-HOA communities. So they can do whatever they want to do exterior to their house or in the front yard and there are neighborhoods like that which does not have HOA deed restriction. Choice is yours, what you want, what you like, and you are at the freedom of these different kinds of houses you can buy in state of Texas. This is Sonal Shah. Hope I've given you some important information explaining you all these basic taxes which you pay. And I'll see you next week with another wonderful subject which I've prepared for you, which will talk about all the scams happening in the town after you buy the homes. So stay tuned with my channel. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.